In this iTunes tutorial, I go over the steps necessary to make a copy of your iTunes library onto an external hard drive using iTunes 11. Now before we get started, I want to mention that I've included a second video that includes some troubleshooting steps should you run into any trouble during this tutorial. Those troubleshooting steps will allow you to go back to your original iTunes library before we went over any of these steps in this video. Now assuming you're ready to go, uh, what we need to do is go ahead and close iTunes. And holding down shift on your keyboard, we're going to open iTunes again. And what that does is it brings up this pop-up box that allows you to choose a library or create a new one. We're going to create a library. And in this pop-up box, we're going to choose computer. Double click on the external hard drive. Library, a new name. I'm going to call mine iTunes. Click save. And here we go. We have a new iTunes library. It's completely fresh. It's uh, being saved on the external hard drive. A few steps we need to go over first. Click on this little icon up in the left hand corner and choose show menu bar. Now we need to go into your preferences, edit, preferences, go to the advanced tab, keep iTunes music folder organized, copy files to iTunes music folder when adding to library. Both of those options need a check mark. Click OK. Now we're ready to move the library over. Click on the File menu, go to Library, and choose Import Playlist. In this pop-up window, go to Music, iTunes, highlight iTunes Music Library, click Open. Now what iTunes is doing right now is it's making a copy of all my music and making that copy on the external hard drive itself. It's not changing anything that was set up originally the way you had your music library organized. It's just making a copy of all the different files and putting those on the external hard drive. You'll see that it also copied over any ratings that I had attached to songs. I created a test playlist which also moved over. The only problem you'll notice is that it doubled up on the automatically created playlists. You'll have to go through and manually delete those. It's also moved over a video that I manually added to my library. And if you notice that any of your purchased items are missing, you need to go to the iTunes store and sign in. And Apple will give you access to the cloud, which will allow you to re-download any of your purchases. So that's the tutorial, folks. It's pretty easy to go through. And again, if you run into any trouble at all, please refer to that second video I told you about. It includes a few different steps. One of those steps will allow you to go back to your original library and everything will be the same way it was before you even went through this tutorial. Thanks for watching.